Now as we move on, Education Cabinet Secretary Professor Jacob Kaimeni has survived an impeachment motion in Parliament today. Proponents of the motion failed to muster the backing of 117 legislators required to move the motion to the next stage. A total of 89 members of Parliament voted to have Kaimeni impeached. In the impeachment motion by Matthias MP Joffrey Odanga, Kaimeni had been accused of arrogance and mishandling of the procurement of laptops for Standard 1 pupils. Members of the boards going there and then going, going back home without facilitation. This means that quite a number of them do not make for the meetings or they are not motivated. For that matter, Mr. Speaker, I want to say the Cabinet Secretary must go. Just recently, we had problems with teachers in the northeastern province. And the Cabinet Secretary did not come up with a pragmatic solution. Kuyubwana ata hasiki. Kuyubwana ndiye mtu kambaye anafuata nyayo za mwishimi wa duale. Uje uri, ubabe. Ubabe. Mwishimi wa speaker, haya maisha ya ubabe. Ya kuonyesha kuwa wewe ndiye. How do you measure arrogance? Many people, Mr. Speaker, many people, many people call Honorable Duale is arrogant because I am, I am firm. Wow. I tell you the truth on the face. Cabinet Secretary Kaimeni is not a good man. I doubt that he will go to heaven. I don't think he will go to heaven with his conduct. But Mr. Speaker, this is not about heaven. The National Assembly has no power to judge good men and bad men. That is not our work. Our work is to look at the law, look at the constitution, and check whether a cabinet secretary has infringed that constitution. And the cabinet secretary Kaimeni has not infringed the constitution. His arrogance is neither here nor there. I oppose with the facts and ask Odanga do not carry the baggage of one Socion who denied the children of northern Kenya teachers.